Hey, Judah. <laughs> How's it going? Good. So what's been going on? Not too much. I've been um, at school, college, you know. When I got you, that was one of the happiest days of my life, Judah. You tell me because, that all the time. All the time. <laughs> because just so much you had to learn how to live with. And I'm so proud of you. Oh, God, I don't want to sit here and cry about those memories. <laughs> <laughs> but having you, it was wonderful. And then when they told you you had diabetes, it's kind of like, I didn't know if I was going to see you make it this far. But I'm so proud of you. Thank you for giving me the many life lessons that you have given me so far. I'm glad I was able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, girl. Well, you <laughs> you want to take a trip down sure. memory lane? As they said, this is your road to success. No matter what, you'll be successful in life, okay? I remember, uh, you know, after school, waiting for the bus to pick me up, waiting for those adventures that would happen at the Boys and Girls Club because they were always, you know, different. Girl, you need me to hold your hand? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. Let's go see Miss Gail. I have so many fun memories of you. I remember your first day, you joined the club, you just sat there and in the homework room. I said, Judy, you can't stay in the homework room all day. Well, I definitely don't remember the part where I stayed in the homework room, but that definitely sounds like me, for sure. <laughs> I was definitely the quiet child. And you finally made that first step out the room into the game room, and you just stood there. Zantuan took you by the hand, he got you started, and you never stopped. Middle school, I was kind of starting to grow out of my shell a little bit, especially with volunteering. And anytime I needed help, it was Judah, Judah, Judah. That's my name for you, Judah, Judah. Volunteering helped me open up a lot more and just feel confident that definitely helped me with public speaking. For me, the Boys and Girls Club has always been a safe environment for my kids. I might not have all the answers, so I always look forward to getting with Miss Gail or whomever in the club that could help her. <laughs> you just don't know. I had to work long hours, you know, and um, you were here. The Boys and Girls Clubs was here. But there's more going on at the club. It's much, much more. You had to mentor a lot of them. I love the club and appreciate everything. You are so welcome. It's just been a privilege. And I don't take it light because at the end of the day, when we see kids, we don't see them when they're six. What they're doing when they're 25, that changes the whole world. So every life we touch, we touch in the world. We touch in the future. I appreciate you for the many opportunities that you have given me, making me understand that there's always something more. You should explore areas that are outside of your comfort zone because the world is endless, honestly. So I really appreciate that. There's nothing I can say, but just thank you for allowing me to be a part of your journey. It was a great experience just revisiting. Yeah. It was. It definitely brought back a lot of great memories of me growing up uh, into the person that I am now. Okay, Judah, we're coming up on Highland Bakery. Hey, Stacy. <laughs> It, it feels like a homecoming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when the first time you came in, I think it was for like a little one day, mm -hmm, yeah, like yeah. introduction, right? Yeah. I definitely remember my first day. It was like all so new to me. You were a little shy and everything, and then how you just really stepped up to the plate. Mm -hmm. After that first one, I was like, okay, you know, like I really love this place. The skills and the things that you learned by going to the Boys and Girls Club, you were able to enhance those coming in here. Teamwork, getting along with others. We had you in so many different roles downstairs in the pastry area, barista, but I saw where your natural fit was 
dealing with customers. The customer service, that's always something that I really love to do. I like helping people. I like putting you know, a smile on people's faces. The guest experience just was really enhanced when you were at the register. The vibe and the aesthetic of the place, it always felt you know, very comforting. You learn how to multitask. Going into the workforce, it really helped with that confidence and being able to talk to many different people that you know you would never know would walk through those doors. You were such a rock star. There's so much in this world that you know isn't always handed to you. So I really appreciate you for being there through this internship to bring a welcoming face and just kind of that comforting vibe. It was always my pleasure. Kudos to you and the Boys and Girls Club. <laughs> so when you coming back? This is our usual stop, Duda. Have a great day, okay? Okay. All right. Love you. Love you too. College life is definitely, for starters, a new experience for me. Of, of course, very diverse. Uh, a lot of people that you meet through different classes and just walk throughout the campus. There's always something new or someone new to meet or just a view to see. That journey from the six-year-old walking into the Boys and Girls Club the first year um, to coming here now, it's been such a great journey. Bound taught us how to expect challenges and be yourself and no matter what it is there's always something out there for you and I can't wait to experience what more college has for me.